हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन आई विल वेलकम यू ऑल टू द इकोनॉमिक्स क्लास एज ऑल ऑफ यू न्यू दैट इन द लास्ट क्लास इट सेल्फ वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज द थेरी ऑफ कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर एंड देर वी स्टडीड द बिहेवियर ऑफ ए कंज्यूमर ओके ऑल ऑफ यू रिमाइंड दैट वन वी स्टडीड वॉट द बिहेवियर ऑफ ए कंज्यूमर इन द सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज द थेरी ऑफ कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर एंड इट इज टाइम टू स्टार्ट द थर्ड एंड न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज द प्रोडक्शन एंड कॉस्ट and under this chapter and as well as in the forthcoming chapter we are going to studying the behavior of a producer okay here we will start what we will study the behavior of a producer then who is a producer yes now in detail we will study about the production as well as the producer and also the cost of production now let's move to the contents of this chapter and here in this chapter means in the third chapter we are going to covering these topics in that the first one is production function and the second one is the short run and the long run third one is total product average product and marginal product next the law of variable proportion the next shapes of total product marginal product and average product curves and then we will study the returns to scale and at the lastly we will cover this concept that is short run cost and the long run cost before moving to these contents first of all i would like to clear you some things about this chapter okay if you want to learn about the production and cost then you should have to keep in your mind some important concepts okay now what are those concepts let's move to these important concepts here in that first one is that is production okay before moving to the production function first of all you should have to know the meaning of production then what do you mean by production now let's see the meaning of production here production is defined as the transformation of input into the output production is defined as what here transformation of input into output now look at this diagram this diagram will help you to understand the meaning of production okay see here here there is a input here they will enter the input into these machineries and this is the production process after it finishes these all the production processes then finally we will get the final product okay that is what here the final product or you may also call it as the finished product okay this is what the production okay take the example of farmers okay here the farmers will use the inputs like fertilizer seeds land tractors okay for what to cultivate his land or if he want to produce wheat okay while producing wheat he will use the inputs as wheat seeds next fertilizers to grow that wheat next that is tractors next land okay these all are the inputs which are used by the farmer while producing the feed then which one is the final product here feed is the final product and what are the inputs he used land labor next he may use the capital also and again he may use the seeds fertilizers etc to cultivate the feed this is what the production process yes everyone understood now what do you mean by production yes now next we will move to the next important topic that is the cost of production everyone knew the meaning of production okay all of you knew what the meaning of production but what do you mean by cost of production yes do you know the cost of production now let's see the meaning of cost of production here the cost of production refers to the total cost incurred by a firm to produce a specific quantity of a good 
okay it is the cost incurred to produce a specific quantity of a products okay see here here cost of production refers to it is a total cost it is what the total cost or the total expenses the total expenses incurred by a firm okay here these are the expenses incurred by whom incurred by a firm to produce a specific quantity of a product if a firm wants to produce a particular product then it has to invest some amount okay or it has to do some expenditures on the production of that product then whatever the expenses which the firm incurred to produce the products that expenses is called what the cost of production understood now the meaning of cost of production okay this is very simple concept that is the cost of production means the cost incurred in the production process is called cost of production now move to the next important point that one is the revenue okay then what do you mean by revenue here revenue is just like income to the firm revenue means it is a income to the firm now i will explain you before that we will see the meaning of revenue revenue is the income revenue is what the income generated by a firm it is a income which is generated by whom by a firm from sale of goods and services right understood now the meaning of revenue revenue is one kind of income which is generated by a firm from the sale of goods and services okay so here after producing goods and services what is the next step you should have to sell that in the market that product should have to sell in the market after selling the goods and services in return you will get some amount yes you will get no you will get in return some amount or some money that amount is called as revenue understood that amount is called as what here revenue then what do you mean by revenue revenue is the income generated by a firm from sale of goods and services whatever the goods and services which the firm is produced you know that goods and services are sold into the market and after selling the goods and services in return you will get some amount and that the total cost or the total amount is called as revenue okay look at this diagram this is what the revenue as the firm go on producing goods and services it will start selling it into the market day by day their sell, sales will increases okay by that their revenue will also increases understood now as the firms are go on selling goods and services into the market their revenue go on increases understood now what do you mean by revenue now the next important concept is this is revenue then what about the profit then what do you mean by profit now the next important content is that is profit yes then what do you mean by profit now let's see the meaning of profit profit is profit is income profit is income remaining after settling all the expenses profit is a income which is left after settling all the expenses means after deducting all the expenses which are incurred to a firm to produce the goods and services 
ओके आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग दीज एक्सपेंसेस वॉट एवर द लेफ्ट अमाउंट इज देर नो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज प्रॉफिट there is one more meaning for the profit that is the difference between revenue and cost here cost means the cost of production okay it is the difference between revenue and cost is called as the firm's profit profit is equal to what here it is the difference between revenue and cost of production after deducting the cost of production from the revenue you will get what the profit understood now what do you mean by profit now here i will give you one more image to understand the meaning of profit and how to calculate the profit here expenses are deducted from the revenue okay revenue minus expenses okay expenses means the cost of production is equal to the net income or you may also call it as profit okay net income or profit this is all about what here production cost of production revenue and profit okay these four are very important to understand the whole chapter that is production and cost now more to our main content that is the production function okay which one is the next one here that is production function now let's see about the production function here the production function of a firm is a relationship between inputs used in the production and outputs produced okay production function is of a firm is a relationship between input and output okay it is a relationship between input used and output produced by the firm okay look at this here inputs are there are four factors of production that is land labor capital and organization this i will teach you next these are the inputs while producing goods and services after the production process is over the next step is to get the output okay and this production function will gives us or will tells us the relationship between input and output it shows us what the relationship between inputs which are used in the production and outputs produced by the firm okay now here i will give you one production function before that we will study about what here the factors of production now itself i have used the word that is factors of production now let's move to on let's study about these factors of production the inputs that a firm uses the inputs that a firm uses in the production process the inputs that are used in the production process are called as factors of production okay and these inputs are must and very essential to produce any product okay and the inputs that are used in the production process are called as factors of production then what are the factors of production here that is the land labor capital and organization these are the four important factors of production here again these factors of production are divided into fixed factors and variable factors fixed factors means those are always constant fixed then what is variable constant variable means always changing okay variable means changing 
variable factors are those factors which will change according to time according to place okay place to place time to time it will changes and what is fixed uh, fixed factor here fixed factors are those factors which are constant which are fixed then tell me what are the fixed factors here land land is the fixed factor only the one factor that is land is fixed factors and remaining three are the variable factors because the labor the capital and the organization may change at any time okay that is why only land is the fixed factor and remaining three are called as variable factors here we consider a firm that produce output using only two factors of production here to understand this concept to understand the concept of production function here i taken only two factors of production those are labor and capital those are what here labor and capital now move to the production function the next one is that is production function we may write the production function as follows okay we may write like this the production function now let's explain about this production function see so here this function it will tells us what q is equal to f of l comma k then what do you mean by this now we will explain now here q is equal to q means what it is a maximum amount that can be produced or it's a quantity that is produced okay quantity of production q means it is a quantity of production next f means it is the function because we are learning about the production function that is why here f indicates what the function l means the labor l indicates what here the labor and k here k means capital why we denoted capital as k because it start from the c but we denoted as k because capital is a latin word okay and in latin word capital will starts from k that is why we wrote here denoted capital as k understood no then what is the production function it is q is equal to means quantity produced is equal to f of l comma k this is your production function understood now this is all about what here the first content of the third chapter that is uh, production function now in the next class we will take another important concept from this chapter that is isocont okay and that is very important for your examinations also okay till then thank you everyone